it wasn't even a full 24 hours, and that return phone call was made and said, yeah, we're picking it up. Amidst some of its darkest days, a bright ray of hope for the city of Mandeville tonight. Police Captain Vinnie Liberto was killed in the line of duty. This was Friday, and since then, the community has opened their hearts to family and police officers. Today, the family was given a generous, heartwarming gift. The media has used Michael Vincento joining us live in the studio to explain. Michael. Well, Sean, the family of Vinnie Liberto not only has to deal with burying their husband and father, but also how to move forward without him. Today, one less concern was taken off their plate. When this happened, she said to her children, I'm going to have to sell the house. The family of slain Mandeville police captain Vinnie Liberto amidst the darkest storm, dealing with tragic loss and learning what's next. Meanwhile, the community is opening their arms. Individuals that have just uh, stepped forward and they've just basically you know, they've, they've poured their hearts and opened their wallets out to this, to this family. After the decorated officer was killed Friday, a memorial has continued to grow outside of police headquarters. Some brought flowers and balloons, and others got on the phone. But I'm going to take a shot. It's the one thing that I can do to hopefully help. A police supporter called the Tunnels to Towers Foundation. I just happen to know the resource, so... I did what anybody else would do. Perry Pezzarossi, expecting a dead end, got a phone call back from the foundation and brought in Chief Sticker. Done deal. We're going to pay off the Liberto's mortgage. The Tunnels to Towers Foundation paying off the Liberto family home. Founder Frank Seller knows loss well, having lost his brother in 9-11. Went up West Street into the South Tower. He was saving people, just like what police officers and firefighters do every day. But while doing that, he gave up his life. Siller's foundation turned heartbreak to a sliver of hope for 150 families who lost a loved one in the line of duty. While Liberto's presence is dearly missed, his family now has one less burden to battle. And Captain Liberto's gone, and uh, you know there's no amount of money that will replace him. But it, you know, but at least uh, the financial burden is, you know, we're working to make sure that is off of this family. And Seller also said the Tunnels to Towers Foundation is based solely on donations. If you would like to help, we have a link on our website. That's WDSU.com.